Hi, my name is Eric Houchin, and this is my game audio demo reel for technical sound design using Pure Data and Unity's Tank Project. I started by going through the Tank's tutorial from the Unity website. Once built, I added an open sound control event system that communicates to a game audio engine that was built in Pure Data by Leonard Paul. I then added the OSC messages to various behaviors of the game that I wanted communicated to Pure Data. For example, when the tanks are moving, OSC messages are sent from Unity to Pure Data for the driving and idle triggers, which include the name of a dummy audio source file as well as the player's number. This was completed for all of the original sound triggers implemented into the game from the tutorial, as well as a few others that I felt would be useful. After all the coding changes were implemented, I moved into Pure Data to build the playback functionality, as well as a dashboard to manage the audio. I started by using Granita, a granular synthesizer originally built by Lorenzo Sutton, and modified it to work with the game. I loaded a motor sample, and by adjusting the speed, duration, and pitch controls, I was able to simulate the sound of a motor going from idle to acceleration, and vice versa. I also supplemented this with unique engine and idle sounds for both players, to help give the overall sounds more character. The terrain of the map is a desert, so I added sand movement for each player for when the tanks are driving, and a sand swoosh sound for when the tanks stop. As each tank fires, if the fire button is held down before releasing, the shot charges. So I built a synth in pure data that simulates a typical subtractive synthesizer to create the sound I wanted. For the tanks firing sound, as well as the explosions for both the shells and the tanks themselves, I wanted to replicate the generative techniques that were possible using middleware such as WISE or FMOD, so I used small sample pools that make up the component elements, such as the attack, body, and impact sounds. These are then randomly combined to make the final sound. Each component is also further manipulated with pitch and volume randomization to continue to reduce any sense of repetition. I also added a small sample pool for when the tank is being hit, but not yet destroyed, to add some extra audio embellishments as the rounds escalate to a finish. For the music, as each round progresses, a unique military-style drum cadence is played that was created using an addicted drums kit. And then as each round is played, variations of a rhythmic track that I produced is used in keeping with the military-style drum cadence. And so as each unique round message is received, Pure Data will first play one of five drum intros, and after a four second delay, we'll loop the first music track until the round ends. This will then repeat with a different drum intro and music track for each round. for fun, I added some playful sounds to go along with the toy-like nature of the design, which included my voice announcing the rounds with a radio sound effect, a whistle sound, kids cheering for me if I won, and booing if player two wins, and a larger crowd applause for if I win the game. Round one! I will end with some quick rounds of gameplay. My name is Eric Houchin, and this has been my game audio demo reel for technical sound design using Pure Data and the Game Tanks. If you are interested in viewing my reels that feature creative sound design, please view my demos for Unity, FMOD, and WISE, noted in the comments below. And thank you for watching.